morning. Continue on the road. six pallets of uh, glass bottles and they are heading for Ipswich don't know yet whether I'm have any message or oh, miss call few seconds Hello, um, right, I'm loaded up here in Aloha, I don't know how to pronounce it, A-L-L-O-A, -L -L -A. name of the town or area or whatever, but uh, 26 pallets of uh, glass bottles, the, the load is addressed to Ipswich but they were saying to me to go to Cairn Ryan so I'm not exactly sure where I'm heading at the moment
box always looks smart. WH Medical. I'm um, waiting to find out whether I am going in switch direction or whether I'm going for Karen Ryan. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Roundabout, take the second exit to Marsh Hill. At the roundabout, Take the second exit to Izzard Street. about take the second exit to Ring Road. If I get out of the town here anyway, to be a start. Roundabout, take the second exit to Clackmannan Road. Confusion has been sorted out, ready to go again. So, um, yes, they had to double check just to make sure, but um, my paperwork and all that says Ipswich, but it is a load going to Ireland. Whether it has been redirected or what, I don't know. But they have double checked so um, apparently I'm shipping in Karen Ryan so just about two and a half hours from here to there I'll need a break. 
and there was a services there, but um, can't get a lorry in there. It's only a small one. So, um, on we go. Since I've shipped out the car and ride. In three and a half kilometers, take exit eight on the left to M eight seven six. Beautiful day here. Um, just about an hour from Cairn Ryan there now. I stopped for a break while ago. Um, not what I wanted, but anyway, um, called into uh, services and Firstly, there was no parking for truck, but I abandoned in a corner. And then went into the shop hoping to get the likes of uh, Greg's or something handy. Um, just a snack and a cup of tea. And go to the toilet. Toilets were closed. And the they had nothing in the shop other than a day the subway and then I saw that they do a sausage and bacon or a sausage and egg subway thing so I said I'd try that started queuing got to the top of the queue and your one went off making a phone in order and whatever and she was taking forever so I gave up on that I went across to the McDonald's. I thought they used to uh, Mac bacon and egg, Mac something or other or something. Um, At the roundabout, take the second exit. They didn't have that either, so I ended up getting some order, which was McDonald's rubbish. And they didn't even have proper coke, just coke zero, which is rotten. So that's my depressing breakfast. But um, at least the toilet in, in some fire in McDonald's was open, so I got to use that. And on the way down for the boat there now. food when we get on the boat at the roundabout take the second exit to Mabel bypass only my um, second ever time up into Scotland and first time around here 
I've um, I shipped into Karen Ryan before, but I've only just gone gone down the seventy five. Continue on Mabel Bypass. And into the UK. Um, and the other time I was the other time I was up in Duff Town. Uh, I came down. Can't remember what way did I come down or where I reloaded. But it, it wasn't this way. I think I. I think I went down for, can't think where I reloaded, but headed on down for, was it hardly hit, no. I don't know, maybe I did ship car and ride, but I definitely didn't come this way anyway. No, I think I went back down to Liverpool or maybe even hardly hit, I don't know.
center. And gales blowing in off to sea. But it's fair nice here today. Right, so uh, sitting here in Carn Ryan with over two hours waiting for a GMO to board that ferry, which doesn't look like I'm gonna get it now. Um, yeah, I assume I'll just be shipping on a later boat, but haven't got a plan yet. Oh, the great joys of customs and Brexit and all this. Update you later. There is some queue of traffic behind us now. We've been stuck behind these two jeeps for over 10 minutes now. Nearly 20 minutes this was, actually. Some queue traffic behind us.
Belfast up to Derry uh, across towards Inniskillen and down to Donegal out to Killybegs and out beyond out further uh, Carrick I think is the name of the place there's a distillery out there apparently This is Jerry, um, just waiting to go over the bridge. Because I am 4.6 meters high. Well, 4.53 or something. I don't know what height the lower part of the bridge is. Can you get a truck under it? I don't know. Basically, it's a double deck bridge.
don't know where I'm going. I don't know where they decided to have talking to me anyway. bit of an incident in uh, coming through um, Killybegs. I or the sat nav did not know that there was a bypass of course it's not signposted either and I was coming up um, around the town and just clipped the a mirror of a van with the uh, corner front corner of the trailer just coming up around the corner so um, 
It's just a, a mirror glass that you clip on. You don't have to get the whole mirror or anything, no other damage. Simple enough if the man by um, number and whatever, so it should be straightforward enough. Um, he was actually parked in Dublin yellow lines, but that's beside the point. Still can't hit him. So, that's that. This is Carrick. Turn left onto Line Road. Arrive at Line Road on the right. Should be it on the right hand side. 
just dinners in the right spot. Right. I'll go in and see what the story is. Right. In the right spot anyway. Just reverse back so that I can make an angle for the gate. So that's uh, what a load of glass bottles looks like. 26 pallets. Hello, um, right, dipped and sorted there. Was about 45 minutes only, handy enough. Excuse me. And just at the just outside um, where am I? Killybegs there now. Just stopped in for a cup of tea and a sandwich. 45 minute break. So that is sorted there now. I have been told go manor was the text I got back when I said I was empty. So I am assuming that means head for Manock in Derry Lane. Don't know whether I'll be drop and swap or um, drop and swap or loading or what's happening. I'll see when I get there. Or maybe I'll get info on route. But time for me to get going. Um, around. That's better. Right. Um, two seconds did I take off just before the 45 actually kicked off no should be okay showing 46 there now 46 no should be okay all good oh shut up 
Right, so yeah, um, just after going through um, Killy Biggs, as I said, on the way back and heading for Manock in Derry Lane, an hour and 45 away. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will talk to you when I get there maybe, but um, I won't be putting much more into this video because I nearly have enough as it is. So, when I get a plan in Derry Lane, I, um, I'll do a piece and let you know what's happening. Talk to you then. Right, back to Dublin Port. Um, it was a drop and pick in Derry Lane. And I've uh, I dropped my empty trailer. Tommy took that away to load, and I picked up the trailer I have now and dropping it into Irish ferries. In 200 meters, make a U-turn. Um. Drop this in our ferries and oh wait no we have a plan. I've one for Galway tomorrow. VTSG4 uh, uh, Building products Thank you
plastic assembly thing, three pallets of them. Don't know what it is, I'm assuming some kind of a car park or something. Definitely a day for the big jacket. Jeez, it's just miserable out there. Um, just waiting for someone to come out there now and let me in. I um, think it's only three pallets. So, panel, bottom, plastic, assy, roadside, quick cable tie holes. That's what I have. Oh, and yep. Right. Empty. Back up to us. Don't know. Better check. Right. Okay, four drops. Awkward year. Well, not really awkward, but I was in that bay just there. So I was right next to the wall, so I couldn't make the swing out. And you can't turn inside in the yard. So reverse out it is. 
now to straighten up the camera uh, head for Balana loading a load there don't know what the plan is after that um, I have to stop somewhere to do some laundry because as I said I don't know what the plan is um, not loading till half six hopefully they load before that but um, you would never know there's a good chance they won't Coming. Um, In 500 meters, turn so left onto F18. I have plenty of time. So I'll stop in some filling station with a laundry okay on the way and get that job done. Talk to you later. In 17, it's pissing rain and the wind is blowing. Is that the song? Was something in this spot um, loaded three hours early I wasn't booked till um, we're loading till half six they never load early um, the very odd time you might get on the bay maybe half an hour early or something like that but 90% of the time there's a delay of at least an hour or two they load, I came in and just parked up and went to just notify them that I was in the yard whenever they did decide to load and told me back in the base straight away got loaded loaded up there now but uh, it is what 10 to 10 to 4 there now um, just loaded with about five minutes and just loaded, finished up my um, my sorted out a bit of paperwork I needed to, I hadn't done in the last couple of days, filled all that in and whatever. Um, and just stopped my car there just now. Um, I'm not allowed to leave the yard until after midnight because of end of the month. So stuck here for the night. Um, well, I was kind of half expecting to be stuck here for the night anyway because if I had been loading at half six as booked and given the usual time they take to um load and whatever uh i would have been almost out of hours anyway by the time i'm loaded so or the time i was loaded so i would have been probably staying in this yard overnight anyway but um that's it basically so I what started in Scotland down to Donegal back to Dublin out to Galway up to here going to finish the um, 
video here now thanks a million for watching um it is a bit patchy but I, I was trying to watch my um watch my clips and whatever so that um i wouldn't make the video too long but what i think that's kind of half messing up my last couple of videos being conscious of the link to the clips and all that so I think what I'm going to start to do is just take the clips as I go along and when I come to edit it then if it is running too long um, split it is I think for myself anyway what I like watching um maybe an hour that way uh, um of other vloggers and stuff like that um the i find like there's a, a couple of um lads doing videos that i haven't really watched much of before and I want to see what they're like to see whether I subscribe to them or not but they keep putting up videos an hour and a half or two hours long and I'm not going to watch that unless I know them unless I know that it's going to be good I'm not going to start watching it whereas um, yeah I don't know I, I just I when I'm watching others videos um, I think about an hour or so is plenty so um, yeah what I might try doing is rather than being worried about it the whole way through the video if I just take my clips and when I'm editing it then I can just split it into two parts or three parts or whatever and hopefully I'll get um, I'll get better content that way because I um, I'm skipping a lot of bits that I probably should record because I'm worried about making the video too long. So that's uh, the plan for the future. Um, thanks a million for watching. This load, I, I haven't got paperwork yet. Uh, whatever, as I said, I can't get that till morning, but um, it's a load going to Paris good chance I'll be taking it but no idea you never know in this um, so I'll just wait and see if I am taking it might make a video I'll see how it goes but for now thanks a million for watching goodbye um, I'll actually edit up this now as I'm here for the evening edit it away up and should be up at some stage tonight so thank you good night bye